Hashtag theory. History, evolution, and ways to market your business and content. So the first question is, what is a hashtag? So the hashtag, or the pound symbol as we know it, turns any word or group of words that directly follow it into a searchable link. This allows you to organize content and track discussion topics based on those key words. So for example, if you watched the scandal finale last week and you wanted to um, talk about that, you would include the hashtag scandal or hashtag scandal finale in your tweet in order to join that conversation. When you click on the hashtag, you get to see all the posts that mention that subject in real time. That means whenever I posted it at that time, you'll see that time timestamp of that date and the time that that was posted. So a little background and history of the hashtag. If we go all the way back to the 12th century, you'll see that it was uh, the hash symbol appears as hash sharp or as a music symbol, and it increase, it raises the pitch of a note by one semi note. I know nothing about music, so I'm having a tough time explaining that part to you. But if we go all the way into the 14th century, it was an abbreviation um, LB for Libra enters English, and according to common scribble practice, uh, scribal practices, it's an accessorized uh, with a line drawn across the letters to highlight the use of construction or hashtag pounds. Then we go all the way down to the 18th, uh, 1870 and through the 20th century, um, 1960 it was used in uh, the mid 2000s, symbol is used in IRC networks and we start seeing a little bit in programming um, in computer C languages back in the 80s. And then you come all the way into 2007, which was kind of like the, uh, I guess the, the tipping point for the use of the hashtag, or the beginning of it. Um, Chris Messina, his name was Factory Joe, and he posted the first tweet suggesting to use the symbol hashtag. And he wrote, how do you feel about using pound, or the hash symbol, for groups, as in hashtag bar count? And he sent this message, and he wanted to see if he could create a trend here. and. Um, in 2009, Twitter hyperlinks all words preceded with the hashtag, making the feature official. So that's when the hashtag was born, the hash symbol, and it became a tag for you to be able to locate symbols and words or um, an aggregate of topics. Google introduces the hashtag feature on its social network, and then in 2013, Facebook in introduced hashtag. So now you can see hashtags across networks, but it was really started with Twitter back in 2007. So what are some strategies? We're gonna really discuss here about how to market and how to brand your organization with hashtags. Um, so we're gonna talk about branding and campaign hashtags, trending hashtags and content hashtags. So, but let's start with branding and campaign hashtags. So brand hashtags. Brand hashtags make a hashtag to market and reinforce a brand across all social sites. They make a brand hashtag that is unique short and easy to spell, markets your business, and monitors on all sides to engage with customers. So like hashtag just do it, um, hashtag Nike, um, hashtag Coca-Cola, hashtag scandal. So if I put any of those hashtags, I'm going to be able to market to all, across all platforms and social sites for that specific brand, right? So here's an example uh, of the hashtag do the do for Mountain Dew. A campaign hashtag makes campaign specific hashtags for your marketing campaign. So for example, we'll go back to the scandal example. We talked about hashtag scandal and scandal. That's a brand sort of, uh, in, in a way, campaign, but that's been along there for a long time. But if they wanted to campaign the finale, it became a hashtag scandal finale. That kind of became a campaign for that specific um, uh, finale show. There could be a campaign for reinforcing a promotion. Maybe there's a contest for something that's happening, uh, reinforcing your brand. You want to have a hashtag out there. Uh, please hashtag if you've had, if you've experienced a flight on our airline, um, post to win free tickets or something. Um, so you want something that's unique and easy to use. You want to include the hashtag as a method to get your social offer. This gets your tag shared. So here's an example, Kevin Hart, um, the clock's ticking. There can only be one winner of the Mountain Dew Kickstart hashtag courtside contest. Head over to mountaindew.com courtside and cast your votes. And here's a girl who says, hey, I would love to sit courtside with Kevin. This would be a dream come true. Three of my favorite things, Kevin Hart, Ma Mountain Dew and basketball. Hashtag courtside sidekick. Court sidekick contest. Uh, so here's somebody posting for a campaign hashtag to win uh, not only promoting basketball, K 
Kevin Hart, but Mountain Dew as well. So. Training hashtags. So we had National Siblings Day, um, I think last week, a couple weeks ago, or a few weeks ago. Um, so you wanna use hashtags that are trending that relate to your business. So for example, hashtag the National Siblings Day. You got Disney who has Incredibles coming out, so they wanted to, or even um, you got Black Panther that came out. These movies, they wanted to really capitalize on the fact, fact that there was hashtag National Siblings Day. So they used that specific hashtag to really um, promote these films by using the images of the siblings in both films. So trending that relates to your business. That National Sibling Day was trending and so the films found a way to use that trend to capitalize on that and promote their films. Um, you wanna monitor trending tags on Twitter, Google+, hashtag.org, Statagram or Trendsmap and you always want to be really quick to post. You want to be like the first one out there to post. So that's really important and you want to make sure of that. Niche hashtags. You want to connect with the target market. You want to engage with customers. So there's always those hashtags of the week. Hashtag Monday motivation. Hashtag Wednesday wisdom. Um, hashtag throwback Thursday. If there's a way for you to connect for your business with one of those hashtags, you really want to find a way to do that. So here's Nissan. Um, hashtag Monday motivation. Michelle H has had some cool mods to her Titan, hashtag Nissan, hashtag Titan. So let people know, here's a vehicle we have out there, we're really well trying to promote it, and we also wanna let you know that here's somebody who's uh, done something really awesome with their vehicle that we have, um, and to motivate you on a Monday. So, when engage with customers, using those niche hashtags, uh, retweet, comment, like, etc. Then you got your content hashtags. Content hashtags are either lifestyle, events, or products. So you want to include lifestyle posts, things like your exercise, or um, things that are common related to people. If I'm, you know, food, uh, drinks, uh, activities, those things can really connect to us. Um, you want to use common ones that are related to hashtags to get your business seen by your market. And you want to find lifestyle hashtags. Think about your customers, lifestyle demographics. Check what tags your followers use. Then find popular hashtags and events. You want to include event-related hashtags when you're posting about these events. Use event hashtags for a group event with a common hashtag, a global event with a well-known hashtag, a business webinar, live chat, whatever it is. If there's a hashtag you can use to spread word about that event, you want to do that. And then you got your product hashtags. You want to include descriptive hashtags when you post about your products. Find product uh, things things that your customers might like. You want to search your competition, see what they're doing. Make product tags common ones to get and found and search. So we have some examples of lifestyle events and products. Um, so here's the event that happened: the COS department, uh, computer and office studies, um, women and in information technology club had an event. The li digital literacy talks. They let everybody know that this was happening on Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me. They had hashtags tech equity, hashtag LBCC women in IT club, and we had the um, user names of the department and the president of the club to let people know. So hashtag tech equity is a really big hashtag right now. So we've got another one. We've got a product hashtag here. Uh, good morning, Vancouver. We think you're brutiful. Cold brew, Dutch brews, bros, Vancouver. Coffee, Dutch bros, puns, cold brew coffee. It's a way to connect to the um, group, the, the people who are interested. It's a lifestyle connected with the product in a way. It's kind of both. And you really want to let people know, hey, if you want to feel like this, maybe you should drink one of our cold brews. And then we've got our body weight exercise here, Mr. Motivation. Um, I'll, I will be down for answering comments. If y'all have any questions, be sure to follow Practical Fitness Advice Coach, Personal Trainer, Exercise, Body Weight, Street Workout, Coaching. I mean, he's literally got every single hashtag you could think about in there for lifestyle to connect with uh, the public so that somebody can find him. If they are looking for any of those items, they're gonna find Family Fitness Online Training and this is an example of lifestyle. So you've got lifestyle right here as a content hashtag with the exercise. You've got the example of the event with the COS Women in Information Technology Club. And you've also got the example over here of a product with the Vancouver um, 
cold brew coffee. Um, when you want to connect with the geo-targeted market, you want to use a geo-targeted hashtag. So get your business seen by local market, promote a local event for your business, um, attending, collect with people using, connect with people who are using the same hashtag. You want to engage with other people using the location hashtag. They're likely your foot traffic customer. So if somebody comes into your location um, to patron it, you want to say, hey, can you hashtag us and say that you were here? So if you, you know, anywhere you go, you might want to hashtag and post something to, to say, hey, I was here and um, connect back to that organization. So with that, I hope you guys learned something about hashtags and that this will help you complete your hashtag assignment.